What is up, everyone? Welcome to this episode of the Wrestling Godfathers podcast. I am Don Mystic, and I'm here with Don51. And why are you Don51? That's a good question. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we've had close encounters of the uh, extraterrestrial kind up in these parts. So I'm sure uh, a lot of our listeners and or our our clips viewers or our stream viewers what whom water shorts viewers with your shorts viewers yeah are most of our view <laughs> yeah if you're a shorts viewer this might become a short so you might view it um i'm sure you're aware of uh how all of a sudden there's been a recent spike in so-called alien activity or at least us being perceptive to uh, catching it on door cams and dash cams and all sorts of cams um anyway so in Nevada, so in I believe Vegas, uh, on a on an officer's dash cam, they have this blue blur that just streaks across the sky. But it it's it's pretty gnarly, kind of like that mirror above my dome piece, right? So then, within moments of that being captured on the dash cam, there's a nine one one call and a family saying something is in our backyard. There's some sort of vessel, and there are these two eight foot people with glowing eyes that's how they describe them they describe them as eight feet and they're like actually i can't even tell they could be like 10 feet but they're extremely large they have glowing eyes and they're looking at us right like kind of intimidating but nothing happens to the family and the police do go investigate and the police do say that there is stuff worth investigating um however it's an active investigation but the officer does confirm on his dash cam and another officer was in there his dash cam or body cam that they're both different angles but the same blue streak and then people start submitting their home security footage of that blue streak right so people are saying hey maybe it was uh an identified flying object crash landing something to that extent so that just made me think of an incident that happened back on the 22nd of may where I was out driving my son. Uh, my son has a hard time sleeping, so a lot of times I have to take him out at night and drive him around so he falls asleep. So it happened to be about 10.34, so it was kind of late, and he still wasn't going to sleep, so I was like, screw it, let's go in the car. And as I walk outside, I notice there's a giant, to me it looked like a Y, kind of like a Y, uh, above the moon. But it, it was something, and it was very visible, and I was like, that's weird. I never seen that in my life before, but I didn't think too heavy on it. But I definitely noticed it. I even clicked the pic on my phone, but I was sort of disappointed because when you take a picture with the iPhone, it turns it into like a light. It looks like a little speck of light. So it don't look like what what I saw, but what else? And uh so I drove for like 20, 25 minutes. When I got home, that same freaking object was above the moon. And it was there the whole time I could see it on the drive. As long as I could see the moon, that object was there and it wasn't moving. And I was like, man, unless they invented a plane that can just chill, <laughs> this is this is something. And so I snapped the video of it. And then uh, I, was, I showed it to a mutual friend of ours. And he was like, oh, maybe it's a space station. And I was like, I didn't know we could see the space station at nighttime above the moon. Um, maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I haven't seen it since. I'm not saying I saw anything other than I don't know what I saw, but it, what I saw, I've never seen before. That's for damn sure. And if it is a space station, then cool. But no outlet was like, Hey, the space station's visible over the like entire Bay area. It was more like, uh, no one said anything. I was like, was anyone stargazing? Yeah, like if you, if you think. Uh, you think if they had the space station visible the, that whole time, yeah, some, that somebody would have said something. Yeah, because our our news will tell us when there's an eclipse. They're like, tonight at 3.32 a.m., if you look at the southeast corner, you'll notice a eclipse of the Dula Mlangata. And but like, don't look at it because you'll burn your fucking retinas. And if you get a box, <laughs> poke a hole in it. And pretend like you're not a douche, but <laughs> or or not totally you know, stupid or, and or a weapon year old at school, whatever. Like that's yeah. the, there's two people who do, who do that like fucking eclipse shit, 
like douchebags and like children who are being forced to do and yes, scientists I just, and scientists with a fucking box no scientists probably have oh, better equipment oh, oh with the box oh, okay uh, uh, okay uh, i'm sure oh and teachers and teachers well, right. uh, well we're, teachers aren't douchebags yeah I love teachers my mother was a teacher that's right but my also, friend here is, no no could uh, well, maybe never, well no well, they don't know. But I'm not Sony Weird. <laughs> it's over that way. Um, no, no, yeah. He's right above the moon. <laughs> but let's be honest. If you're with your teacher at 3.31 a.m. staring at the moon, um, there could be some other fouls occurring. <laughs> uh, that includes a uh, different kind of uh, covering. Uh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah. Of the latex variety. Okay, now we're now we're definitely banned. So okay, well we're banned, banned. No, no. <laughs> All right, so that was interesting, although yeah. it had nothing to do with. <laughs> no, no, but I will say this: uh, during the previous, oh, I was previous. Now the two uh, previous administrations go. So at the end of the Obama administration, they declassified tons of documents. And of which there are documents on unidentified flying objects and interactions that the U.S. military have had with unidentified flying objects as far as picking them up on sonar and admitting to having at least knowledge of things flying that aren't necessarily of our Earth, so to speak. So, I mean, the government's acknowledged it. Uh, I believe Dom Mystic reminded me of the joke during COVID, how bad COVID was that basically aliens are confirmed and no one cared. So, so I, I wouldn't be shocked if, uh, if in the very near future, we get our first real look at what a extraterrestrial really looks like. So wait, wait, where was, uh, you said Las Vegas, right? If it, yeah, if, this it, would if, be if it was Arizona as, as racist as that state can be, sometimes I would have been like eight, eight foot, Eight foot tall, like people in a in a craft. I would have been like, yeah, two Mexicans, one on top of each other, <laughs> like like uh, getting into a freaking eighty seven Pinto. Wait a minute, wait a wait a just a tick. Now, hold on, hold on. Maybe there was a glitch in the Matrix. Hold on, he let him breathe. Save him. No, no, no. Maybe what the people in Las Vegas saw. Oh, God, they're going to cancel you for sure. Maybe, okay, so maybe the people who from Ocean Gate who went in the submersible, maybe they crinkled themselves but glitched and then ended up in Vegas and freaked out. <laughs> That's fucked up. But hey, <laughs> look, look, but here's the thing the CEO, while we're on, I know we're a wrestling podcast, but God damn it. The CEO willingly said that he broke rules because it was part of innovation, except for he got the materials for the submersible from aeronautics, not nautical. And uh, air air flight and sea exploration are two very different types of exploration because of shit that I don't understand. But so well, I mean, think about every, even James Cameron, the guy who made the fucking Titanic movie, right, was like. Nah, bro, your shit's bad. Like, you got to fix that. You're going to kill somebody. And he killed four somebody's and himself. Yeah. R.I.P. Yeah. To the, you know what? R.I.P. to the people who who didn't know they were going to die. But if you're going to drop $250,000 for a boat ride, you're assuming the vessel's safe. Um, so. Yeah, but I also got to say, like, I mean, if you're going that far down into the water, oh, you know, where if any and if I mean, where if anything goes wrong, you're dead. You're fucked. Yeah, you're. Yeah. What, I mean, you can't swim up. No, you can't swim up. I mean, you got to come up fairly slow so you don't get that. What is it called? Um, um I get something compression, brains. like de decompression or something yeah, like that. Yeah, Some yeah, something shit like happens. That. Shit happens. Shit happens. Yeah, shit happens and. If you're doing that, you're, you take, you're taking some risks. Now, that doesn't mean that this guy isn't a douchebag. Yeah. But, yeah. <laughs> oh, no. well, did, you see, did you see PlayStation's tweet? 
I don't know if it's real, but it's making its way rounds on social media. So I hope it's real. Someone said that it was they. Okay, so I don't know if it's real. I someone could have doctored it because it seems a little insensitive. But someone said, "Can you believe the submersible is controlled with the PlayStation controller?" And then the quote tweet shows PlayStation if it in fact is, or someone doctored it right, and it was like. That's not our controller. That's a third party that didn't clear quality control. Just some shit like that. Oh, it's all blooded. And by the way, orcas are attacking yachts. So even if you do make your way to the surface, shampoo's going to kill your ass. You gotta admit, you gotta admit if, if there's any sea animal that kind of kind of like deserves to attack some humans, try orcas. Oh. We have, we're, well, I mean, basically every sea animal, which uh, I'm surprised they don't come, well, I'm surprised they aren't just attacked by every animal on the face of the planet. I know. We're absolute dicks to all of them, but. That's true. Yeah, and, yep. and while we're talking about things that have nothing to do with wrestling. Which is okay. We will get to okay. it. We, we promise we will get to it. We're only, what, 11 minutes in. Yeah. So we got more time. This isn't like last time where I stopped like 30 minutes in because I didn't have a freaking teammate with me that time. Because he, he has children. Well, I also had a father in town, which is like having a child. <laughs> Thir- uh, an extra child yeah. who drinks your beer. <laughs> have a ton of it, dear Lord. <laughs> the growth anyway, really went up sharply. So I text uh, a certain Don 51. We won't, we won't say which specific one but a certain dawn 51 earlier today and i'm like hey we're doing the podcast tonight right <laughs> and he texts me back simon no 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 no, no, no. let me finish my story oh, okay no. my story sir now for me i'm like okay probably sure and he just got auto corrected because you know like apple can be a yeah, dumbass at some time yeah. or he's having a stroke and i need to call somebody <laughs> one of the two and then uh, and then i i so so being the concerned friend that i am i text him back a question mark just to i mean if he doesn't right you know respond at some point i'm like okay i'm calling the cop or not yeah. the cops don't call Damn the cops on a never call the cops on a hispanic person yeah because even if you're doing it for good reason you're yeah, still getting shot yeah. somehow yeah. But um, <laughs> but but I call uh, but I called you for a wellness check. He's not well. <laughs> He's dead now. Yeah, but he didn't have bullets before I called. Well, he does now. He's holding some in his chest. <laughs> Boy, the fella. He had a weapon. What was his weapon? A green gun. No. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus. If this if this one doesn't not get us fucking banned, um, are you banned? I'm I'm gonna have to run. It's a fucked up shit. So yeah, it was, um, again, people yeah, it was, so, already died again. Uh, I'm I'm not, agent. So I I text him uh, a question mark, and he texts me that's Mexican slang for yes. Yeah, and, that's I'm, one. and I I get this look on my. I was at work at the time. I work at a shit job, and. I'm just like, the fuck? Now, for people watching or not listening to this on like an audio version, you don't have the uh, pleasure of seeing my masked face like the people on YouTube. But I can guarantee you that from my limbs, from the places that you can see, I am as white as can be. Just like I am, like painfully white. Like to to I don't want to steal a joke from Andrew Schultz, so I'm going to give him full credit. But he said I have the complexion of a uh, iPhone flashlight, all right, <laughs> basically. <laughs> and if you don't, if you never heard of Andrew Schultz, go watch him. He's like an awesome comic. But um, I have the I do have that. So when he said that he sat there and made and made. It, he sent me a thing that said Mexican slang. I'm just like, how the fuck did he expect me to do? <laughs> well, okay. So first, the one thing Apple didn't do was it should have paid uh, space because CSI, right? 
is yes in Spanish, right? So it should have been S-I space M-O-N, Simon, right? But it came out as Simon. <laughs> and then, which is funny because I saw it right as I sent it. And I was like, ah, he'll get it. He'll just say it in Spanish. Right? And I figure at some don't point you say it. I don't speak Spanish. But how many, at some point through your work, you should have worked with some Mexicans and they've oh, never yeah, dropped. Yeah, I've worked with some Mexicans. Well, and they've and never dropped the word of what they said. And they've never dropped the same one. <laughs> oh, I'm sure, they, I'm sure they did. Doesn't mean I know what the fuck it means. Yeah, I, I realized that. But then also there's a part of me that was like, oh, it's. Came out looking like Simon. I was like, yeah, but he'll 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 correct it himself. He'll just he'll figure and it out. And then five yeah. seconds later, a question mark. What the fuck? Oh, it is this shit. And I'm like, how? and then for a moment, I was like, is he fucking with me? Like that. <laughs> but then he followed it up with uh, some. Um, I don't. I sound. I think you forget what you say. I think you forget <laughs> how white I am or some shit. I think you forget how painfully white I am. <laughs> And I was like, yeah. oh, that's right. Never mind. He's not going to pick it up. So it's like, uh, was... like, again, for those who are uh, like, I, I even think that the people listening to this on audio know that I'm white. Oh, I yeah. feel, I feel like, I feel like I sound like, like you with Archie you from Archie comics. What people yeah. think he sells. Yeah. You sound like mayonnaise, bro. I <laughs> feel mayonnaise. <laughs> Uh, only when I'm back in all No, but like, uh, I, I, I look and sound like white privilege, like the personification of white. <laughs> it's true. He, he, yeah, I've, I've seen him try to use it to turn in celestial hamster like essays. We, by the way, we did get to the thousand subscriber mark, so that will be how we end this fucking podcast by telling you about the celestial hamster, which what is it? has nothing to do with. <laughs> we're on a slate. But that being said, we we're almost twenty minutes into this, so yes, probably and and by the wrestling. We will, and we are, and I. But we also have to stay current. You can't have a submarine implode on itself. And everyone spaz out for five or six days. Allegedly, we don't we don't want to kill these people without knowing for sure that they're you know actually dead. But they're no, they uh, I saw they unearthed some of the wreckage today. They pulled it up. Oh, never mind. And I had to get up there's there's crinkled humans inside. They're they're Kriska like the fries from Carl's. Oh, dude, dude, and you're telling me I'm doing but uh, the same fuck to. <laughs> Okay, we, we, we're we getting into fucking wrestling now, because holy shit. <laughs> Sorry. You're yeah. going to hell all that one, dude. Oh, oh, that's the one. As I said, they're crinkled or I mean, yeah. Anyway, so. Oh, because I'm the one who went in the submersible for $250,000. I mean, no, because you're not. And that's right. Because I ain't got that expendable cash, guy, dude. Or even yeah. that amount. You you never want to be the first at something or the last at something, that's you know. Right. Because here's the thing: if you're the first at it, they're gonna make all the mistakes. And if you're the last at it, that means something so bad happened on your shit that they decide to stop doing it completely. Oh, so, so yeah, you you never want to be the first. You never want to be the last. Want to be somewhere nice and in the middle. Yeah, exactly. All right. Anyways, let's let's get started. Uh, I'm gonna share something with you. Ooh. Uh, in a second. Romantic. Can light a candle. Um, we got a first look at some of the new wrestling yeah. toys coming out from Mattel, and there and there's a. I don't know if you can see the. Uh, Cody Rhodes is in the middle. Well, yeah, no, I, I don't know if you can see the uh, the number of pictures, but there's like 214. <laughs> so this might take a little while. Okay, so we'll hold on, hold on. Before we go through this, or as we go through this, I'm going to tell you right now, Rey Mysterio is way too tall. They made him smaller than there, everyone. There's no way that he's as tall as Cody Rhodes. Like, he's, no, he's smaller. No, he's smaller. His arms are just in the air. Um, no, but look, I'm going to go ahead and say they did a good job. His boots look bootsy. Um, and his cock piece 
He's awfully gold. <laughs> Damn, bulgy. Well, don't worry. Don't worry. Some of these pictures are better shots of these. I'm not. It, Rand- I, I hope not of the coffee. No, Ra- no. Randy Orton looks fresh overall. Just if you look above his like above his belly button, like that whole little section, it's like super white. So maybe he forgot to tan that area. Yeah. All right, Cody well, Rhodes let's looks, look, looks, look, looks look, fine look, except for the face. Because I, I have something. Wait, is that Ronda Rousey? Wait, wait, wait. No. I, I, I don't get into that yet because I want to. I have something to say about that. So, he, <laughs> like, uh, like I do like uh, Warden's like face. I think he they did it, yeah. his face really well. Um, it, this yeah, one actually good, makes it look, makes his like middle section look all right. Yeah, maybe it was the lighting. Maybe, yeah. Uh, so maybe they have well, like, look, he's contemplating there he's thinking he's you... contemplating or he's constipated one of the two well, he's thinking he's like damn I can't go <laughs> hooray hooray I'm coming back to WWE yeah and then we got the announcement John Paul looks like uh, it looks like one of those trolls from the troll movie <laughs> where they play guitar and shit no no he, he looks like a taller version of one of the uh, one of the what not hobbits? But, uh, you know, one of the dwarves from uh, the, the newer the, rings. the newer one, so like the Hobbit. Oh yeah, it's from the nose up. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. I mean, he he looks all right. That's how he yeah. looks. All right. And the He's not why do they have old. why do they have a back one of them like doing weird shit? You know, they I uh, think to be. Uh, that one, I don't know. I don't circus know I like uh, yeah, circus <laughs> hands are not doing him justice. Mm-hmm. Uh, anyway, yeah. um, I can't remember. It's this one. I think this one's the last one. And I need to like really sedate, like how fucked up this next. Uh, like I believe this <laughs> picture is right here. What the fuck did you do to her face? <laughs> Dude, if I were Ronda Rousey, I would sue. I would say, I'm. I'd be, you fuck that. If I were Ronda Rousey, I'd start beating the shit out of people with the tail. First of all, she's got little lightning bolts on her spandex. I, dude, I'm not even looking at her spandex. They f- this poor bitch's face up so bad. It looks like she got hit in the face with a car. What the fuck, dude? And here's the thing. Here's the thing. We can both agree Ronda Rousey in real life. He's a thousand times hotter than this. Yeah, it's like, oh, I God, guarantee yeah. you, any guy who is watching this video, which oh, God only knows how many is that, but any any guy, or girl, and, and, and Ronda Rousey says, the the next guy to get uh, to touch my arm, I'll fuck, there would be a riot trying to get to her arm. She's, she's insanely hot. Yeah. Well, what yeah. the fuck happened here? Like, yeah, Mattel. Uh, I, like, your example is an extreme. Here's about, what I think but... happened. They had the, what, they had an old toy with the head of a uh, of like a cave woman, maybe. Not even. Not <laughs> cave even. man, possibly. No, no, no. Painted it. He looks red, and then. <laughs> no, <laughs> you look. Look at those eyes, man. I'm telling you, that's like someone two black eyes, like. That's like an an alien, right? That's like one of those. I don't know, dude. They they fucked her up, oh, though. Dude, what did... They did her dirty. Why would you take a picture of this? Wouldn't you just try to like, speak? Look, at, okay. look at how hot her picture is, and look at yeah, she's got eye makeup. She's got her hair done all tight, and then when you look at the toy, yeah, the oh, toy, the tubes. She, she, you're right. She should. She should too. I would too. <laughs> Dude, if you were watching this on uh, on our audio, you you go, go to YouTube right now. Go to uh, what's the time? Um, about twenty four minutes into it. Oh my god! Because uh, I do cut a little bit of this, a little bit of the beginning up. Let's take twenty four minutes into this and look at what we're looking at. Oh my god. Holy shit! It that it looks raccoon eyes. She literally, maybe they were rocking. That's the biggest it, problem. It, you, it looks like a dude. No, because it was Rocket Raccoon, and they just stretched it and added a not even a Rocket Raccoon. Not even a like good a politician uniform. with black eyes. Politician got his ass beat. 
Like if you that, put this word, you put this head on. That didn't even look like her though. It do, well no shit. Dude. And then I mean, the way they wrote baddest in that font, and they're all underneath her her res. They're not like over. Or they're all just what? This is a bot shop. Hey, I would soon to tell, dude. Dude, I, if I were her, let, let's let move on because I, I'm no. I, I'm gonna get pissed. I'm mad at her. I'm gonna file a class action. Yeah, I mean, keep going. <laughs> All right, so the, this isn't that bad. I mean, the thing oh, is perfect, but well, he looks like he's pouting. <laughs> yeah, that oh, this, this, this is Cody right after Paul Heyman told him that uh that Roman Reigns was. But it is that his dad thought of Roman Reigns as more of a son. <laughs> All right. Uh, see, the picture is perfect, but like that. Yeah. The, the life, I don't know if I'll get you. Dude, I, I but said it's that, not. I said bad. that. I said that Randy Orton looked constipated. He looks constipated. I what do you do? He, he was like, happy. He, huh? He's frowning. He was frowning. He's frowning. Yeah, yeah but he, 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 he doesn't. He has a little power here that you better run around you though. No. Like he doesn't he doesn't need a suit. He could just be like, all right, so they gave me a frowny face. Oh uh, dude. Oh. Here's Ray with his tassels. <laughs> Does he usually wear tassels? Yeah, occasionally. Okay. But look, that's not that bad. It's a little odd because if you look at where the Mysterio mask guys are on his upper thighs. They're, they're really drawing your attention somewhere. It looks like his pelvis. What the fuck? And then right in the middle of the pelvis. <laughs> All right, we gotta move on. We're, we're yeah. gonna. This, this is a children's show, not really. Ah, no. uh, they fucked Ronda Rousey up. Like, see, look, Ray has a smile, which Cody doesn't, and he looks decently good. Uh, so Ray and Randy Orton, they can be happy. Um, if hold on, hold on, on that. Uh, what's his name? Uh, uh, Cody Rhodes could be like, yeah, maybe next time they make me smile. And if you're Ronda Rousey, you're like, you motherfuckers, I'm gonna burn Mattel to the floor. What did you do, you sons of bitches? <laughs> All right, so next we got uh, Lashley. Lashley. Oh my god, what the fuck happened to his hands? He's they gave him. He doesn't have. Oh, <laughs> he has oh, masturbation shit. hands. <laughs> shit. Look, it's cool he comes with a belt, but why is he coming with so many fucking hands? <laughs> well, I mean, if you had masturbation hands, wouldn't you want a couple of them? <laughs> oh, but he looked good, too. Like, he didn't have to sue Mattel. I mean, look, he's got like a nine. Hey, hey, if those are masturbation hands, that means his cock is huge. So, he, yeah. he's got nothing to complain about. Yeah, no, Ashley's got a good toy. Yeah. I, I, I actually like these hands on him. Like the oh, it's for his intro. So they added new hands for the intro. Okay, that uh, that make that that makes those hands look more. Uh, like I understand why those hands are in there now. I still don't understand why there's a fucking master <laughs> paint to the hands. Uh, the tribal chief looks all right, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. Everyone has the master bitch. I didn't even pay yeah. attention because I was so busy. Like uh. It, like looking at fucking Ronda Rousey's fucked up. <laughs> oh yeah, Roman Reigns doesn't have to sue anyone. He looks decently fine. No yeah. suing there. He looks decently uh, good. Free profit. Montez Ford looks high. Oh Jesus Christ, he's <laughs> high as shit. Well, he does like his smoke. He's got lean inside that cup. God damn it. Angela Dawkins is he? Wait, go back to his toy. Oh there. He is. <laughs> shit, Angela. I mean, you don't have to sue, but you are going the comedic angle on this with your tongue out. Yeah. Dude, the other guy had, like, a, a masturbation head to his dick sucking mouth. <laughs> <laughs> oh, blowjob mouth out. He's got to sue. <laughs> Angelo Dawkins and D'Angelo, you got to sue, buddy. Uh, Liz, oh, Liz, I don't Part of, me wish, uh, part of me wish that the hell uh, happened to her legs. <laughs> Those are manly legs. I got it. Yeah, I, she didn't have that rip the legs. I've seen her. And her face, that's not her face. It, it, okay. But not enough to sue. At least the oh. lip Morgan's not so bad. Like, uh, like 
if she they uh, like the legs are a little bit thick. That's not even that bad. And uh, some guys like them thick. Yeah, but, no, uh, no, she has thick legs, but they're not that toned. I mean, she's got muscle on muscle. Yeah, I don't know. Like, uh, like... but she doesn't have to sue. She's no, okay. No, no, not at this line. Like, uh... the fuck she... is with that ladder? And it's got herpes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, wh- why is he taller than the ladder? And no one asked for fucking Stardust. We yeah, like Cody. Ross. I will Stardust. say this. I don't think Co- uh, Cody's going to be that pissed because uh, he has kind of accepted the whole Stardust thing. He he does the ton every once in a while. Yeah, but he's like, not going to dress up. Like, oh. No, no, no. He, nor should he. Stardust. Uh, I mean, that was a horrible <laughs> character. <laughs> Goddamn variants, and they got multiple the little versions of it. Too. But why are the lighter painted? That's what I don't know. Why? Oh, well, there you go. You can get there the regular lighter. Yeah, that's still not as tall as. She. And then we got oh man, kind of the ah. There we go. That's what I'm talking about, right there. Although, what the fuck for man? <laughs> he, a, he looks like he's a molester in a boiler room. It, Dude, here's the thing. Even his fucking, fucking Big high team. looks. That's not mankind. Yeah. Did they not wear it? Your worst fucking picture on the no. Man, it's okay. someone drew. Someone drew this dumb shit. And the Rock looks like Elvis. Thank you very much. Uh, well, yeah, but the Rock back in the day had the sideburns. He, he did. He, he like. I mean, he had the guitar and everything. So that I can see. But like, mankind was god awful. The guy, whoever drew that shit was drunk. The, he's like, I'm, a, I'm nothing but a hound dog. How can the rock has a belt? Mankind does. Uh, because would you give the belt to this motherfucker? That looks like Jack Black. That's literally <laughs> Jack Black cosplaying. That looks mankind. like Jack Black playing uh, Mankind in a movie. And that looks like Dwayne the Rock Johnson oh, cosplaying the rock. <laughs> Dude, Austin Theory, uh, like, they did him dirty, but no one gives a shit. It, it's wrong with his torso. And his it's, stupid ass His face. torso? What's wrong with his fucking face? Hey, uh, his teeth are half of his fucking head. You know who he looks like? He looks like uh, Donkey from Shrek. <laughs> and uh, Cody Rhodes, the third Cody Rhodes toy. This one, the mouth looks a little angrier, but the rest of it kind of matches. So, angry Cody. All right. Uh, I, I, down, down. I dig this Cody, but I, I don't want to have to buy fucking really retarded looking fucking uh, Austin Theory for some <laughs> Like, Austin seriously, Theory. he looks like he's missing a couple chromosomes. He looks I, like Jim Carrey from uh, Hanks Ventura. <laughs> <laughs> See, when he had to rustle the dolphin. Um... <laughs> Oh my God! Look, go back to the one where he's flexing Austin Theory. They made Lashley with muscles. They made him with slopes. <laughs> like, like, I'm not even good at geometry. Why is his biceps impressive? I don't know, dude. That... Why is he wearing the title and not Cody Rhodes, who's smugger and angrier? I don't know. Uh... Why is he behind him creepily? Like, <laughs> This, this looks like this looks like the uh, that is the, kind of beginning chin? of the worst gay porno ever. <laughs> hey, look at his chin. They they actually made his goatee three dimensional. <laughs> Dude, these toys, most of them, <laughs> I wouldn't sue, but fuck, they fucked theory up too. Oh man, I'm glad they fucked theory up. Yeah, but more yeah. more street profits. I these look look a little bit better. Like I'm in like, Paris, so I'm like yeah, at right. least Dawkins doesn't have a fucking <laughs> job. <laughs> but he's not ready to blow the rest of the toys. Hey, buddy, how come <laughs> only one of them has the belt? Oh, Type of stupid yeah. marketing is that? Don't you need two tag team titles? Where's the second? I, I would assume so. All right, we got another Rey Mysterio. We it looks cool. It looks cool. Ray Mysterio, I'm glad that they made him a little bit shorter in this one. Oh, fuck is wrong with the feet on Matt Riddle and his legs. His legs look, they do But dude, wait until I show you the next picture of him. This one actually, I like this one a lot. Yeah, that's cool. The Ray Mysterio that it, although, although they do have a question mark of his junk. Yeah, but that he, he's questionable junk. Dumb. All right. 
So I don't think we really need to go into no, he a lot cool. of like he looks fine. Although the poncho looks like weird as shit. Um <laughs> What the stupid fuck is this looks dumb. like a Kendall that they just repainted and put some better hair on. How but look at his cankles. His ankles are so flared out. The fuck is he so is he so silent for it? I don't know. And if you if you're listening to this on audio, please just go watch the whole thing on uh his eyes aren't even uh, open. Cause you, and it, you, you gotta see this shit. It's ridiculous. So oh, you or Matt Riddle. Oh my god, what? he's trying to scoot her like a bitch. I would sue. I would absolutely sue. Oh my god. Oh my god. I fire Matt Riddle on too. Okay, how many fucking Cody Rhodes are there? <laughs> hey, but this one has blood on his chest. So this one was definitely after the uh, the Lesnar match, I would think, or the uh, no, the Seth Rollins, the maybe, pick. maybe torn pit. Yeah, I tore my pectoral. Uh, I don't this... think that's a torn pectoral. It's not like that's the best though. But Cody Rhodes looks Great good. Blood. I mean, there's like four or five Cody Rhodes here. Yep. Pretty much. They look, oh, the Usos look good. Um, and they actually have yeah, the correct amount of health. That's dumb as shit, but they look good. Mm. Oh my god! Long may come the happy heads. <laughs> then, Replacement heads for different oh, facial expressions. Oh, granted, it was funny. Anyways, um, oh, yeah, they look cool. Yeah, I know they didn't buy. Although, them. although the smile, I don't know that one. I don't know about that. Um, this has got to be the worst looking Edge. That's Edge. I was about to ask you who the fuck's that guy. That's Edge. Yeah, this, uh, like his face looks like like he's you know, like uh, cool. his face looks like uh, Shaggy from Scooby Doo. Viral Shaggy. Oh my God, I'm out too. If I'm Edge, I'm suing. I mean, his pictures look fine, but like that doesn't. I don't know. The f- uh, that face does not look like Edge. It's like you need to make that it's nose a little bit bigger. Oh, there's 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 a, there's a good rock with the uh, there is. with the guitar, hey. and, it, and it's collapsible too. That's funny. All right. Oh my God, he looks Filipino. <laughs> hey, I love the Filipinos. That, oh, that's uh, that's a he should too. What the fuck happened to his face? Who's that? That's a Miz. Mike Ms. Dane, Ms. Dane, whatever his name is. I don't That's, know. He... Uh, I would sue too. He looks like he's from a boy band. <laughs> it's fucking back streets back. All right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I totally do. Hey, Ms. I don't want to give you professional advice, but go go ahead and sue Mattel. Oh, that one was perfect. Yeah. The cybernetic arms. I like <laughs> Jack's over here. Yep. We know it's MVP, and I only said Jax because of the arms. It's reminded of the gutter. If only they, they should have made it one with a uh, suit. Because he's... What the fuck is with that police? <laughs> RVD. RVD. He's, uh, again, getting electrocuted. And his <laughs> hair standing up. Oh, my God. That is, some of these toys are, like, just ridiculous. I don't know why. But, like, is that supposed to be him, like, flying through the air, I guess? You know, with, oh, okay, it is, it is, but it looks he's on a flight jog. He's on it a jog. It looks right ridiculous. Now. It does. Don't use that. Get one of get one of the guys with uh with uh masturbation hands to grab his point. <laughs> yeah, it's about all you could do with it. Rob, oh, yeah, Robin Nam looks decently okay. Lesnar looks good, except for his chest. You yeah. can clearly see he's wearing a breastplate or some shit. Uh, but yeah. All right, uh, we gotta move quicker for the shit. Jeez. Then no, take forever. You know, I'm Brock. I'm suing that he doesn't. He looks like he kind of looks like he has boobs. He does. he looks like Gunther <laughs> before he got in shape. Well, to be fair, pecs are just male boobs. I mean, yeah, but hit those. <laughs> Vader, you tiny bitch. He tiny fat bit. What the? Why is he even dressed? I don't know. Invader's dead. 
Don't desecrate the dead. That's why it's in a bottle. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. It's a, it's a, it's a cape or whatever. Is this like the first King of the Ring or something? No, it says superstars. He went in the King of the Ring. Includes fabric. No, I don't think he was even in WWE during the King of the Ring. Whatever. With um, the match. Uh, I fear no man. man. I feel no pain. Oh, and he won't move out of the way of an elbow drop, so he gets I, in the face. No, fear no man, I feel no pain, I wear no underwear. And, uh, ah. Hey, why is he so small? Ray <laughs> taller. Why is Ray taller than Vader? <laughs> Captain Lou Albano with his weed shirt. I like it. Mm-hmm. Nah, bitch. I'm wearing my marijuana shirt. That one looks cool. Yeah. All right, moving along. If we can get there, he's got a goal, right? <laughs> the gobbledygooker, dude. How is it that we got a gobbledygooker and not a Zane uh, and fucking KO? Yeah, I know. That's but dumb I... and shit. Undertaker, Undertaker looks pretty good. Although this fucking face, what the fuck? Well, we need to see it close up because it looks cross-eyed from a distance. I know, and I don't think we get a close-up view of it, I don't think. Yeah, we don't. And then the, the last ones are just like the uh, cage. That's pretty cool. I, I'll buy that for my children. All right. So we wanted to show you those because some of them are super cool and some of them are retarded as fuck. And I don't think it's very hard to figure out which one. I wonder how they had to sue Mattel. Oh, it's sue Linda Bowers. The fun under her. Ronda I Rousey. Bad. I feel bad for Ronda. They botched her. They, oh, they, they, they did her real Ooh. dirty. Yeah. When Mattel was like, oh, this passes quality control. This, <laughs> this, this is the one we're going with. What the fuck? This is the one we're going with. The, uh, the poor, ugly bitch. <laughs> Who is nothing like Ronda Rousey? You no, know, like she, she, she had a straight cave woman, uh, like uh, forehead. That was ridiculous. All right, next. You look like Cro Magna Man. Yeah, man. It, 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 it looked like an actual man. And you, hey, hey, hey! It was a horrible toy. Oh yes, very horrible. All right, next up, if I can share the screen, um, um, Randy Orton, the man, hey. the myth, the legend. If I can fucking get this shared, Jesus Christ! There we go. Uh, it's looking like he's going to show up for uh for Money in the Bank. Why? Uh, let me just uh, uh, let me just read this. After numerous rumors have emerged about possible return of Randy Orton. At the weekend of uh, WWE Money in the Bank, uh, WRKD Wrestling, a page specializing in advanced, uh, advancing future events of WWE, said that everything is practically right for the Apex Predator to return this weekend. So basically, they're saying that it, 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 it looks really promising that he is going to return. And like... He's healthy. I'm guessing he's healthy, or they wouldn't be saying this. But, um, well, you know, it could give credence to that WWE. Well, not WWE, but Corey Taylor, lead singer of the world famous Slipknot, put out a tweet and then and an Instagram post today of a promo. He cut a little quick promo and he cut it on Randy Orton, which Slipknot right now is touring in Europe. So you're got to be thinking why on earth is the lead singer Corey Taylor cutting a promo on Randy Orton if only to build a little hype because maybe he is coming back and just uh, this has again nothing to do with the wrestling but if you like if you like a little bit of like a softer end of rock check out Snuff it's one of my favorite Slipknot songs very emotional yeah. yeah Anyway. It's a good one. It is the final track on All Hope is Gone, which is their fourth studio release. Anyway, I'm not their PR director. They're just my favorite <laughs> band. <laughs> yeah. 
Anyway, the, the point is, uh, point is Corey Taylor cut a promo on Randy Orton, which means his ass is returning. Confirmed. You heard it here. Now let, let's try and like let, let's try and like put on our little like uh prognostication cap. Well, as long as Mattel's not in charge of making it, this show. <laughs> this those fucking dildo brain. Fucked Ronda Rousey. Up. Uh, yeah, they can't make Ronda Rousey's face look uh, fuckable. Then I, I, I shudder to think what they'll do to ours. But um, I'm not worried about the fuckability of a toy, but I am worried about it not looking like Rocket Raccoon. And that's <laughs> when you are pressing. Well, you do have a lot of facial hair, so it <sighs> could happen. But um, yeah, I've been kind of thinking about like how he would come into play at Money in the Bank. And the oh, for me, right. the most likely thing would be like we we learn that uh, Riddle is going to be facing Gunther at a uh, at a uh, Money in the Bank. I mean, obviously, Randy Orton is very much connected to Riddle. What if a little uh, interference? Uh, maybe even maybe we even see Gunther drop the belt. So he can be pushed into like the uh, the no the championship. Yeah, no. yeah to do think I'm sure he was that pothead. No, 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 no. Think about this. Think about no. This. Think about it. Just stop saying no. Think about it. No, no, no can do. Just like, hear me out, you freaking this <laughs> shit. <laughs> I'm this smack you with a fucking alien. No, right, um, right. so hear me out. Just. Uh, Riddle or Riddle wins with some help from Randy Orton, okay. and then um, and then you have Gunther going to like a uh, uh, a feud with uh, Seth Rollins, probably, um, maybe a feud with uh, uh with what's his name, Tribal Chief <laughs> Roman Reigns. Oh, I, I'm I'm trying to make it work. From now on, his name is what's his name. Anyways. Or, uh, but I don't think that's going to happen. I think you're going to have, like, the bloodline shit going on for a while. So, I think it's, uh, like, you have him going into a thing with uh, uh, with Seth Rollins. Uh, and then Riddle would be a great uh, champion for a mid-card champion. Yeah. Okay, let me let me help you with this. First of all, I can totally see uh, Randy Orton helping or interfering to help Matt Riddle. I can see that. So that, I think, I agree with you that that could happen. But I have a different theory. Uh, an Austin theory. If you will. <laughs> um, what if in the money in the bank, somehow, some way, Logan Paul is the only one left standing through circumstances and is about to grab that bank and or the, that suitcase, right? He's reaching up for it. Then here comes the legend killer. Here comes the legend killer, and he fucks it up, thus setting a feud between him and Paul, knowing that Paul's not going to work a full time schedule. And we don't know how healthy Randy is. He might be healthy to return in spots, but he might not be re- returning for you know, like uh, the full, like, yeah, the full shebang, you know, because. He, it was a pretty serious neck injury he suffered. So, yeah. so I could see that, and I and the reason what made me think of that is they did. There's this article right uh, that pointed out that they could be a company associated with future events are pushing Randy Orton, which could signal he's coming back. That Corey Taylor promo that seemed very out of the blue, but I would be shocked to find out that that's uh, you know part of an angle they're working on. And I heard, and this I heard from all the other um, the other dirt sheet sites, and I'm not saying dirt sheet derogatorily, I'm just saying the sites that report rumors and news, um, that there was consideration or is consideration that Vince might want Paul to win or at least be heavily featured in the Money in the Bank ladder match. And uh, what a cool way to stop him from doing it than if, Right before he grabs the briefcase, Randy Orton RKO's him out of nowhere, some shit like that. I, I don't know, or maybe Paul wins. I'm I'm no medical expert here. Yeah, I mean, I, I could definitely see that. And uh, to be honest, now that you said that, I kind of like that better than my idea. So 
mm-hmm. I'm just going to pretend I'm going to do what white people do and steal it. And, and that was my idea right there. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's my white privilege, people. That's God, my white yeah, privilege. He got me. He got me. He got me. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and um, if I can actually do it, stop sharing that. All right. So instead of like ending this with talk about the bloodline for the eight billionth time, because that's the biggest storyline e- ever, we're going to end this with what we promised you, or yeah. I'm going to end this with what we promised you, so which is hamster. the story of the celestial hamster. Yeah. And the story, unfortunately, starts out as a pretty sad tale. By the way, I was there for this. So I he was, he, to... This man was there for it all. Yeah. And we have known each other for a very long time. I believe yeah. freshman year of high school. Yeah. And the very beginning of this tale actually begins towards the tail end of our high school journey. Uh, my mom, who I love dearly, who unfortunately now has passed away, but at the time, like a huge part of my life, obviously, um, she had a stroke. And for a time there, she was actually in a coma, but she, don't worry, she does make comeback later on. But during this time, she was in a coma, and during this time, right after the stroke, I was in a pretty bad way. And for those who don't, well, I mean, I'm sure none of you know, but I was drinking pretty heavily and doing it at school as well. Yeah. And... uh and you may be wondering why I'm and why I'm saying this at, at at high school when I said specifically I believe in the past that this happened in college because it right. it lasted into college. Now I do want to say this, even though she had a stroke, she uh, although she lost a huge part of her motor function, she was all there mentally, and that's what's important. I got I got twenty plus years with this woman that might might. Probably shouldn't have had, but I'm I'm thrilled with that because she, again she was all there, and that's the important thing. That's very important. If if you've ever wondered like what would you rather have go with the mind or the body, it's the mind a hundred percent. You do not want that to go. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah you want I, the body to go. Yeah, yeah, I said that wrong, but you know what I mean. Yeah. Anyway, so point is, I'm drinking a shitload of alcohol, and I can confirm. I mean, and this man, uh, this man can confirm that I think of weird shit when I'm not drunk. So the th- the shit I come up with when I'm drunk or high is like like a hundred times like crazier. This is true. And we had an English class yep. together, and I I don't even. This is in college, what, by the way. This is in college. Just already in a little. Well, yeah. We, uh, this is yeah. in college, and I'm um, all. We were in the we were in the same uh, class. Oh, yep, same English class. Uh, I, I'm not saying we we didn't even plan it that way. We just mm-hmm. happened to be in the same class. But um, yep, exactly. And like we we had uh, he our teacher had us write in some paper, professor. I guess you would call him at that point. But um, yep. and I don't even remember what the paper was supposed to be about. But when I started uh, like it was writing an essay. it. Whatever. And I mean, yeah. the, the point is, it was about something, and somehow, I mean, this is probably on one of my huge kicks about how like, ridiculous religion is, <laughs> said the drunk art in fucking college. But, um, and I, I somehow I got on the point of, uh, I could make a better religion. <laughs> and I would argue that I actually gave it a run for its money, especially Scientology. But <laughs> if you're a Scientologist, I'm sorry, but you, even a celestial hamster would be better. Anyways, <laughs> so basically I started writing a story around a deity, a celestial hamster, if you will, yep. because I thought of like the most ridiculous thing you could like deify. <laughs> and the thing that most kids kill like in like grammar schools because they forget to feed it over feed the it. fucking holiday. That's yeah, shit like that. yeah. I thought that was I thought that would be like hilarious. And 
So I just, I, I just, I just did that and just started writing ridiculous shit. And I want to say this. I want to say this. Like, I am horrible at grammar. I am horrible at spelling. That's never going to change. And my, but my teacher said, the professor said that although, like, he couldn't pass the paper because of, like, the horrific, like, grammar and spelling mistakes, like, he, uh, he said it was one of the most entertaining things he's read in a long time. Yeah. So he, it's he, not that I'm bad at writing. It's that I'm bad at doing the things that make make it readable. Yeah, because you were literally, we're all turning in these essays, and uh, homie here wrote about a celestial hamster. And I was like, bro, that's not even the same. What the fuck? <laughs> ah, it was I was so a, drunk. How did you? It was awesome. Hey. But true story, uh, very true story that we reference all the time because I thought it was hilarious. Is it does take a certain amount of balls to turn in a paper about a celestial hamster and the future religion where we all worship said celestial hamster. Now, now, now once it, we get to 100,000 subscribers, you, you guys might just be ready to learn about KEW. Yeah, maybe. Who knows? Hey, but very, very quickly... Um, that class, do you remember if you ended up passing it? Like the overall? Dude, I, I drank away my long-term memory a long time ago. So long ago that I don't remember it because it was part of my long-term memory. No, I, All right. I remember that was a lot of fun though. You sat right in front of me too. That was pretty cool. Yeah. But no, well, no, I sat behind you on math class. Anyway, um... <laughs> Anyway, how did we end up in all the same classes? I don't know, dude. And we never planned it. We, we never planned. Never this was our names was are nowhere near each other in the alphabet. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, it worked we, out. We got to hang out. out. Exactly. Anyways, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. Peace out.